Hi Libra, I hope you guys are all doing really, really well. So this is going to be a general love reading for the first half of November 2022 for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. It is a general reading as always, so this is not going to resonate for all of you, which also means that the roles can be reversed. So we will be focusing on your person's energy towards you, but it could be the other way around. It could be that you are... Um, a Libra or maybe you are watching for a Libra. Either way, if you would like a personal reading, all that information is in the description box below this video. All right, Libra, let's see what's going on with another person who is attached to you. First half of November 2022, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus signs. All right, first card out went flying and it is the five of wands crossed by the two of swords. What's going on with the air signs? <laughs> All right, <clears throat> there's a lot of conflict here between the two of you. Um, this could even be like actual arguing, actual disagreements, um, maybe even competitiveness um, between the two of you. Yeah, just not really seeing eye to eye on something. Maybe there has just been a lot of tension building up um, that's kind of like now being um, <laughs> like blowing up. Let's see. In the recent past, we have the Wheel of Fortune and in the near future, we have Justice. Okay, there's your energy. Okay, so this is good. Um, I feel like, yeah, this has definitely been like a buildup of events. Maybe there has been a shift also that has happened recently and things where it just feels like they're not even like under your control or maybe it doesn't feel like it's under their control either like it's just things like happening um, that nobody can control and it's just led up to like this a lot of tension between the two of you however we do have justice in the near future which is good because um, this does talk about, you know, either there being a resolution, you know, coming to some kind of a peaceful agreement, a decision being made um, you know, just finding that balance. So I'm really happy to see that after this energy here. Let's see what's going on in their headspace. We have the page of wands and in their subconscious, we have the empress. Okay. Um, okay. So this person, it doesn't feel like they have bad intentions at all with the page of wands. I do see them, you know, wanting to start a new path, you know, having that drive, having that motivation to want to, you know, come to some kind of a resolution or to some kind of a, an agreement here. They do see you as this empress. They do hold you pretty high up there. Um, I just feel like things have gotten a little bit out of control, like just recently. Let's see their current energy. Towards you, we have the fool. And in your energy, we have the four of cups. For their hopes and fears, we have the Eight of Cups. Okay. There's um, their energy at the moment. It could be a little bit on the immature side, maybe. Um, it just feels like this person isn't really like maybe thinking things through. Like I said, you know, their intentions are really good, um, but they might not be thinking things through and just acting a little bit impulsively. You, on the other hand, I feel like, you know, you're just kind of sitting back like just not feeling very happy with all of this which of course you know that makes sense and they have this fear of of you walking away and not just the fear of you walking away just the emotional disconnect between the two of you that could come out of this like whatever that resolution is or whatever that decision is if it is you know um, for the two of you to be apart because you're the one who's in this four of cups energy so i see you being more disappointed with all of the situation more so than they are so there's definitely that they're holding on to the sphere of this emotional detachment here let's clarify let's see what is happening here so let's see this five of wands with the two of swords the Ace of Cups, the Three of Cups, and the Eight of Pentacles. All right, well, here's the interesting thing. There is love here. 
there is love here and I feel like you know that's also why there is so much um, attention um, especially from this person because they do have these very strong feelings for you and not only that this this person really does want to put in the effort to make up with you and to find a resolution and you know to just go back to being um, happy or to have some kind of a reunion with you all right because some of this tension or some of this like conflict here it could even be on an energetic level all right but this is definitely somebody who has a lot of love wants a reconnection and wants to put in the work now whether they can or cannot that's a different story but that intention is there let's see the page of wands and i mean usually when there's a will there's a way but um yeah Sometimes it depends on how strong that will is. Let's see, Page of Wands. And it also has to go both ways, right? Like you also have to want that. All right, so for the Page of Wands, we have the Ace of Swords and the Six of Swords. Yeah, this person is definitely wanting to find peace with you. This person is wanting to find a way for the two of you to be able to coexist in peace. And they do want to take that action. They realize that it's going to have to be like a new path. It's going to have to be something new like in terms of how we go about this or what the dynamic is it's going to have to be something different that willingness is there they want to leave the past in the past and just move forward let's see the empress all right so the nine of swords and the page of wands this person is afraid of you walking away showing up again like that um, because you're you're being um, represented here by this empress together with that knight of wands they're afraid of you um, dashing <laughs> you you know just moving away from them and that creates a lot of stress and a lot of anxiety for them and it could be that they were picking up on this maybe even from before that you're that you're in this energy of possibly moving away that you're just not happy and that you're just sick and tired of whatever the situation has been and that could even be what is creating this conflict whether the two of you have been interacting or not it, it can work on an energetic level let's see the fool all the king of wands and the magician so this is their their energy towards you um currently yeah that that will is there it's definitely there um i feel like this person is a little bit like freaking out and they're just um trying to use whatever means they can to to have you basically to have you in their lives to overcome these obstacles but i I mean, for some of you, it just seems like the way that they are going about it, like it might not be like <laughs> the way that you would want them to. Um, but the intentions behind whatever it is that they're doing is because they really want this. I feel like, you know, this is somebody who um, just might not know the right way to do that. They're trying, though, that's for sure. Let's see that Four of Cups for your energy. The Ten of Cups and the Four of Swords. You just want peace and happiness, basically. You want peace and happiness, and um, I feel like, you know, there's just a lot of disappointment, feeling like you haven't been able to have this with this person. You know, some of you may have also had this dream, you know, of having, like, a happy family, and it's just kind of like, almost like you're losing your motivation. It's like this person, the more that you lose your motivation for this connection and you're just kind of like, I need to get over this and I need to just heal and, and move on so I can find my 10 of cups, um, the more that this person actually is getting motivated. And I'm not saying that that's right. You know, it shouldn't have to work that way, but that's just what's happening here. Let's see that eight of cups. The Five of Wands and the Star. Okay, so we also have Aquarius showing up in this reading. 
yeah, the more that they feel like you are emotionally detaching or walking away, the more conflicted they get. And I feel like that is actually what is causing them to like, maybe even having some kind of like outbursts, some kind of random outbursts that, you know, you might not be able to understand whether they are, you know, um, physically directly or whether they are, oh, I don't mean abuse. <laughs> um, of course you should never like even stay in a situation like that, not even entertain that idea, but that's not what I meant. I meant like having like these, um, when I said physical, I meant like in the 3D where you can actually like see their outbursts, like just reacting, you know, like that they are emotionally upset, for example. Um, yeah, so the more that they feel like you're walking away, you know, that is creating these, um, this tension, this conflict within them, or, you know, maybe some kind of outburst. And some of you might see that like in real life, or it could just be energetically, if you're not in communication with this person, they still want you that star there. I mean, they still have this, this wish. I mean, they really have this hope that they can fix things with you. And I feel like they really believe that. And they're also really believing that you're that you're detaching and that you're moving away from this. It's like you're becoming indifferent. All right, let's see justice for what is coming up. And we have the page of cups and the knight of cups. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, it definitely feels like this person is softening up. I feel like, you know, they're moving towards finding their balance here, um, just being more in touch with their softer softer side, um, with their emotions. And I mean, with the Page of Cups and the Knight of Cups together, especially clarifying justice, it feels like this person is either, you know, apologizing, really trying to mend things, really trying to find some kind of a resolution here and trying to be fair. So um, I do see them coming in, in this way where they're coming in with justice, like wanting to give you fair treatment, you know, or acknowledging what it is that they have done wrong, acknowledging you, um, you know, if you were right about something, just being very fair and being very, very just, um, and really like speaking from the heart here. So that's like a major, major twist to the story. Like, wow. Um, just really going from that conflicted, like reactive state to being like, all right, calm and sweet. And yeah, just really speaking from the heart here. And then you can do what you want with that. It will be your call to make, whether you still want to give this a chance or not. All right, Libra, let's see. If this resonated, let's get the final message for you. And we have the new moon eclipse. Expect powerful change. Yeah, I mean, that's really what that looks like. <laughs> All right, Libra, those are your messages. Thank you so much for watching and much love.